BCOM would examine the statements and get advice on what they saw. Yep. Um, I won't take you through your next page in detail, but 23, you refer to Ms Jackson. Now, what uh, she was the um, branch secretary at that she time? She was the branch secretary. She was the only official um, on branch committee. We only had one um, paid official. And then um, Ms Holt is referred to in paragraph 24. She was the bookkeeper. That's right. For the whole period you were on the <coughs> BCOM? Uh, as I understand it, yes. And you say that she was sometimes available to ask questions of, although she wasn't available in person at the BCOM meeting. Um, so uh, she didn't come to the BCOM? She didn't come to the BCOM, but we could ask, que well, we could ask questions of Cathy and she would then get back to Jane if necessary. Yeah. I can't remember that happening in recent times. Well, you, in fact, say in paragraph 25, I don't recall <clears throat> the BCOM ever being concerned by any mismanagement or anomalies. Absolutely not. <clears throat> oh, in fact, you, in 26, you make the point that um, you're an employee of um, Peter Mack and the Radiation Oncology.